Yo, what's good, YouTube man? It's Gary with the Fan TV. Back at you another video. Like the content is video, go ahead and smash that like button. Uh, also, comment down below your thoughts on the video. I pretty much reply to all comments. And uh, if you're new here, go ahead and that subscribe button, man. Look. All right. So, I didn't talk about it yesterday, right? Uh, I kind of want to let everything call out, come out. I seem like as soon as you want to talk about it, something else happened. And something else happened. Um, so, the Ravens had a lot of drama yesterday, right? This is probably the worst the public image has looked for the Ravens. In a long time, um, as far as on the field things, the Ravens have had times where, like you know, Ray Rice and you know things like that, where the public image wasn't very good. But football-wise, this is one of the worst times that the Ravens' face has been in the public. Okay, and to me, all of these issues, everything that revolves around it, revolves around some of John Harbaugh's biggest flaws. When you're the coach and leader of the team, unfortunately, a lot of stuff comes down on you. And we can point to a lot of things with John Harbaugh. So, biggest flaw number one, his undying loyalty to his coaching staff, to anybody really, um, that's that he knows, friends, whatever. Steve Saunders, for perfect example, right? Obviously, they fired him. It seems to me, in my opinion, they only fired him because they knew that NFL PA report was coming out, that they were getting that F minus, and they couldn't, no, they could no longer look these players in the face and say, "Hey, look." We're going to bring Steve Saunders back, even though we got an F minus on your uh, report card. We know how he's been treating y'all, but we still want to bring him back. Deshaun Elliott, former Raven, had multiple season end injuries. He commented on the Steve Saunders thing. All right. Matthew Judon. Matthew Judon hasn't been here for years now. What, three, four, three years now, at least four years? He said that for multiple years, I told them. To fire him. He said, I've been told him to fire him. So that means multiple years he was telling these guys to fire Steve Saunders. So we're going back years and years ago that another player, get him out of here. I don't know what he's doing. I don't like it. He's hurting us. Okay. Carl Davis, right? Third round pick for the Ravens. A guy that the Ravens could have used back, back when he was drafted. Nose guard. Nose tackle, however you want to say it. Torn labrums, pack strains. And then the one that really got that got me, right? Carl Davis in the reply to Judon when he said, I've been told him to fire him. He said that, I, you know, I went to you. Like, I, like, I went to the coaching staff, tell him what's going on. And then Saunders told them that I was just being rebellious, that I didn't want to work hard. So now you got a guy who is not only hurting your players, he was actively questioning their work ethic and making them feel pressure to keep doing a training program that's hurting them. That falls to the feet of John Harbaugh. It keeps going. Bam Bradley, linebacker for the Ravens, outside linebacker. He was five months post ACL. Five months post ACL means he's not at full strength. He probably really easy isn't even getting ready to run yet. And he says Steve Saunders had him doing the same workouts as guys who were fully healthy. His knee probably isn't even strong enough to be supported on his own like that, right? He's still getting adjusted. He should be doing light stuff. And he's doing the same workouts as guys who are fully healthy. Quincy uh, Adebayo, Adebayo, I should know how to say his last name. I, I'm half African. I'm, I'm disappointed I don't know how to say his last name. But uh, forgive me. But he had three season-ending injuries. Three of them. He was healthy his entire career prior. I believe with the Ole Miss. Right? He's healthy his entire career prior. Comes to the Ravens, has three season-ending injuries. He says that they ruined my career. I'm talking about Saunders and, and, and his uh, his training methods. Ruined my career. You have players who are saying that being in this training program adversely affected my career. Bam Davis said, Bam Bradley excuse me, said the same thing. Ruined me. That comes back to John Harbaugh. When you have players coming to you, because like I said, I know it was more than just Matthew Judon. I know multiple players, probably team leaders came to you and say, hey, look, get this guy out the building. He's hurting us. And you let it slide. The only reason that he's fired is to save public images and to save face of we're getting this F minus in the report. We can't have this guy in the building anymore. You know, we just can't we just can't allow it. But that goes back to your loyalty to the staff because you don't want to let these guys go. Now, out of bio's injury sounds pretty similar to Rashad Bateman, right? Multiple years, season end of injuries, but healthy your entire career prior. So now, I 
I guess with him, you, you could let it slide, right? He was an undrafted pick, you know. If he doesn't work out, cool, we'll get somebody else in here. Now you got Rashad Bateman. First round wide receiver. Has shown talent at wide receiver when he's been able to play. Now you got him being affected by this training program. That you cannot let slide. He's he's damaging the guys you invest high assets into. First round picks. So your loyalty to him allowed him to have injure multiple players, have players say he ruined my career, and now it's affecting your first round pick. But there's more. Greg Roman, right? Greg Roman was on the staff. You promoted him to offensive coordinator after, you know, uh, he was a good run game coordinator for the Ravens for, for a little bit. It was clear that after 2019, great, great season, 2020, it wasn't working. Probably should have let him go then. 2021, should have definitely let him go, but he kept getting one more year. And because of you kept giving him one more year, what happened? All right. Let's see. Um, Hollywood won it out. Right. Hollywood, Hollywood Brown. For what everybody can say about Hollywood Brown, I don't, you know, for the drops and everything like that. He is one of the Ravens' best ever drafted wide receivers. And you can say what you want about that, but it's the truth. He showed up when the Ravens did. I mean, he's been, he was always a threat for the Ravens, no matter what. He wanted out because of this offense. Now, that leads to the second, his second biggest weakness from John Harbaugh, his second biggest flaw. He has too much control of what goes on, right? Hollywood just wanted to express of, hey, man, you know, we got some talented guys in the room. Use us more. And for him being vocal about that, now he got to go. Because you got too much control of what's going on, right? Rashad Bateman is so tired of being blamed for everything that he hits out on Twitter about putting, put your guys in positions to see is pretty much what he was saying, right? After Eric DeCosta had his uh, his response or his comment about wide receivers um, not hitting for the Ravens, right? How about you use the guys to their best talents and use them to their strengths? To me, that's at John Harbaugh. Because he said the, the guy who you let do this, you can say that's Saunders, you can say that's Roman. Either way, it's the correct assumption. Either way, you let him here because you have too much control and you have too much loyalty to these guys that you couldn't let it go. Now, at 2022, you finally let both of these guys go, but it might be too much damage, it might be too late. Hollywood's already gone. Imagine the Ravens were to keep Hollywood and the shot bait was able to stay healthy because he's not in this uh, Steve Saunders training program. The Ravens have a good, young, wide receiver duo. Which Ravens have never had. The Ravens have never had a young wide receiver duo. duo. Never. They had to let that go because y'all wanted to have an offense that revolved around uh, the, the 1960s. All right, cool. Um, let's keep going, right? He's not the first OC that you've held on for too long to, for. Cam Cameron. If there's older Ravens fans, right? Ravens fans wanted Cam Cameron fired for multiple years. Players wanted Cam Cameron out of there. But no, you kept Cam Cameron along, kept going, kept going until it got so bad that you finally let him go. And what do the Ravens do finally when they let go of Cam Cameron? They won the daggone Super Bowl that same season. But you were so loyal to him, right? You had so much control of, of the entire staff that you just had to keep holding him on to the very end. And it makes me think about the general managers here. Right, because Ozzy obviously was 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 a big dog, right? It makes me feel like does EDC even have control of this? Because when John Harbaugh's job was on the line in 2018, it was more coming from Steve Bashali that they were ready to make a change. You know, it wasn't really about Eric DaCosta. You know, and John Harbaugh have disconnect. Eric DaCosta and John Harbaugh are freaking neighbors. Like, <laughs> you know, so for them to have a disconnect, that's going down in the friendship because he had no more neighborhood, right? With John Harbaugh, it's too much control, too much loyalty, and things that are at the very center of what's going on, what's wrong with the team right now, is because of decisions that you made, or really decisions that you did not make several years ago. When you could have made those decisions, when you could have helped the team out, when you could have did something to change the trajectory of what was going on. But instead, you, you decide to keep employing your friends, right? Um, I didn't even mention it in 2020 with Steve Saunders, with the uh, the COVID outbreak, that being directly tied to him because he was violating all kinds of mass mandates and didn't believe in the virus, didn't believe in this and that. So not only was he endangering your players' physical health, 
right? As far as, you know, what's going on with their bodies, but internally as well, he's endangered them as well. But he was kept on for another two seasons after that. But he was only fired to save public image in the press. So if John Hubbard doesn't learn from these flaws, it's going to keep happening. It's going to keep repeating the same cycle, right? And then as far as officer coordinator goes, let's keep going with that. John Harbaugh has never hired a good officer coordinator. Never. The, the best co really, the best coordinator that the Ravens ever had has been Gary Kubiak. Okay? And that, to my knowledge, that wasn't a John Harbaugh hire. Gary Kubiak led the Ravens to have their best off one of their best offensive seasons, one of the most fun Ravens offenses to watch. Had Joe Flacco's best career, best uh year in his career, excuse me, by far. And I believe that's the year the Ravens should have went further in the playoffs, but they blew two 14-point leads to the Patriots in the playoffs. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's what happened. Okay. So, I mean, we'll see what Tyler Mike. He's up in the air. You know, he might he might be a good hire, but even Tyler Mike said he came from a committee because you didn't have time to break down the film of the guy that you hired to be the officer coordinator. It's like you say stuff in the media that just doesn't help you. And it just doesn't make your job any easier. And that leads to the last one, right? Unnecessary vagueness when talking to the media. Just unnecessary. I had no problem with coaches lying, right? Lying is part of the job. You don't want to give the whole truth out there. Whatever. But the things he chooses to do makes no sense. It ends up hurting the situation. Just last season, when Sean Bateman gets hurt, y'all have him back out there on the field. He injures his foot worse. So now we're talking about what's going to happen with Sean Bateman, and you're telling me that, well, yeah, he may be back in a couple weeks. Only for you to come back out like a week later to say he's going to have season-ended surgery and not that y'all decided to do that, Rashad Bateman decided to do that. Yeah, he decided to get season into surgery. Okay, then there's J.K. Dobbins. J.K. Dobbins started the season. It was uh, He wasn't himself, uh, uh, apparently. He wanted to have a second procedure. He told y'all about the second procedure, and he said there was people in the building that didn't want him to have it. But after he had that surgery and he came back, he looked better than, way better than he did before. Third thing, third thing with the vagueness, this was the biggest one last season. Lamar Jackson and his injuries in the injury saga with Lamar Jackson. The entire time you keep saying things like, I'm just going to coach the guys that I have here. Uh, well, you know, uh, I don't want to give a competitive advantage to the other teams. Just say something about what's going on that doesn't make you sound like an idiot. We had to get all the way until Lamar Jackson tweeting himself that he's out. Because the coaching staff wouldn't do it. Because you wouldn't just say it, right? You will have to wait until this press conference at the Combine last week was the first time you've ever said, yeah, Lamar Jackson, he was just hurt. He wasn't going to play versus the Bengals, man. He, he was hurt, you know. It had to come out all the way in freaking March. It was something that happened months ago. There was no competitive advantage. There was nothing to be hidden. If you would have simply said, yeah, he's going to be out for a while, that's uh, that's the update. But you kept stoking the flames. We're going to just coach the guys that's here. You know, I'm worried about who's in the building. You're, you're saying things that's insinuating that Lamar Jackson just doesn't want to be here right now. When you could have put out the fire, he's hurt. I'll give you more I'll give you more news when I have another update other than that he's hurt. Could have said that, but you didn't. So, when we look at John Harbaugh's career as a Raven, right? He's had a good career, but his loyalty, him having too much control, and him just being very, very weird in press conferences caused unnecessary drama around this entire team, and it's everything that we're seeing right now. And it all comes back to me at John Harbaugh, and that's my opinion on it, man. So uh, let me got, let, let me know what you think of the video, man, uh, but I'm going to get out of here, man. It's Gabriel doing the Fan TV. I'm out.